Hi there, fellow design enthusiasts. I'm Dia from At Home with Dia, and in today's video, I will showcase a project where we use cost-effective ways to upgrade a lackluster bathroom into a space that combines style and function. Whether you have a bathroom that needs some sprucing up, or are faced with a room that has very basic build of grade finishes, I will show you how some strategic changes can make a world of difference in improving the overall look of your bathroom. Make sure to watch till the end for a cost breakdown of this budget-friendly makeover. This bathroom was in a three-year-old track home and was laid out quite well, but it lacked character and style. So when an issue with the shower caused a series of events that led to having to demo the shower and rebuild it from scratch, it was decided to upgrade the rest of the space too. The huge builder grade wall mirror, basic vanity and fixtures made the overall space look very blah, cold and uninviting. Before diving into the project, we considered the fixed elements within the bathroom to decide what changes would make the most impact in achieving a dramatic, elegant look without breaking the bank? We had to work with the existing 60-inch dual sink vanity, a walk-in shower and four doors. One door led into the master bedroom. The other was the walk-in closet. Another was the enclosed water closet. And the fourth was a large linen closet. The existing large-scale light greenish-gray tile floors with subtle taupe and gray veining and dark gray specks served as color inspiration as we embarked on upgrading this space. So the first step was to give the entire space a couple of coats of paint in a satin finish that could withstand the wet environment. We used Emerald Designer Series color called Gray Heron. This is a soft grayish paint with a violet undertone, but in this space, it looks more greenish and complements the color of the floors. For a cohesive look, the ceilings were painted in the same white color as the doors and baseboards. If this was an older home, we would have changed the faucets, but the newer bathroom fixtures in a warm satin nickel finish were in nice style so we decided to keep them and change other elements for greater impact. The existing overhead canned lights, one in the shower enclosure and two individual ones directly above each sink were in good condition. They provided overall good lighting, so there was no need to upgrade these items. If of course the lights had been on the wall and looked like this, then that would have been on our list of things to change. The white on white vanity and counters made the space look very sterile. The vanity counter was a creamy white cultured marble, which we initially considered replacing with quartz. But since this project needed to be achieved on a tight budget, we decided to leave it as is and possibly make that easy switch at a later date when funds allowed. Instead, we focused on making a dramatic color change to the vanity cabinet for more contrast. The vanity doors and drawers were removed and given a light sanding, as was the vanity frame. A coat of primer, followed by two coats of bare satin enamel cabinet paint using a foam roller, gave it a smooth finish. The color is called Mind Coal and is a dark, greenish-gray color that picks up the darker colors of the floor tile. The extra-large builder grade mirror that was glued to the wall made the space feel very bland and cold. We carefully removed it by taping it up in a crisscross pattern so it wouldn't break into little pieces. We used spackle to patch any areas that were damaged and retextured the entire wall and then primed and painted it. If this is a task that you're not comfortable doing on your own, for a couple of hundred dollars, you can hire a handyman to do the work for you. As mentioned before, this 11 by seven foot room has four doors on three walls. To break up the sea of doors, we glued a mirror on the sliding door that leads into the master bedroom. 
This not only made the space look brighter and wider, but since this door is next to the walk-in closet, it is very useful for checking out an outfit when getting dressed. Once all the major work was completed, it was time to put the finishing touches. The two tall black frame mirrors have rounded corners that help to soften all the hard angles in the space. We made sure to hang them centered on each sink so they align with the overhead lighting. Coordinating matte black knobs and poles adds some drama to the vanity. We also installed poles on the non-operable drawers facades that are directly under each sink, so the vanity looks more finished and high-end. If you are combining two different types of hardware, like in this case, knobs and poles, make sure that they are both the same depth, so one does not stick out more than the other. This will give the vanity a more custom look. Continuing the high contrast look, matte black towel hooks and bars were installed on the walls. We also added a magnification mirror, which is extra useful for applying makeup or shaving, and since this is a wall-mounted one, it doesn't take up valuable counter space. Finally, to soften the overall look and provide some relief from all the hard surfaces, we included textural elements by adding a bamboo Roman shade on the window, soft waffle towels and matching bath mats. This was a two-phase bathroom upgrade project. This was part two of the project and was completed within a course of a few months because we decided to spend extra time sourcing items on sale since we allocated more of the budget to the other part of the project. At a total cost of under $650, we were able to totally transform the look of this side of the bathroom. If you're interested in seeing what changes we made to the other side of the bathroom and get advice on tips on how to handle a shower renovation, then I will link that video here and in the description below so you can see the complete process of how this bathroom was transformed. This project is proof that with some easy changes, some time and effort, you can upgrade a builder great bathroom and transform it into a beautiful designer looking space on a budget. Let me know in the comments below which of these changes you believe made the biggest impact in elevating the look of this bathroom. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and remember to subscribe to At Home with Dia so you can join this growing community of design enthusiasts. I can't wait to share more projects and DIYs with you, so stay tuned. See you next time. Bye for now.